Evolution of Primitive Bears The life of bears has always been a struggle for existence. Fight for territory, the struggle for food, the struggle for procreation. 65 million years ago, small animals ran around the earth. Myocides. Myacids were small marten-like animals with a small body and a long tail. Various species lived in trees or on the ground. Myocids fed mainly on small mammals. By the middle of the tertiary period, myacids already had well-developed teeth, characteristic of predators. We must pay tribute to these unusual animals. All modern species of predatory animals that existed before and that still exist in our time originated from myacids. About 45 million years ago, there were no modern horses, cats, or primates. Small animals accustomed to hiding in the shadow of dinosaur dominance evolved very slowly. Step by step, millennium after millennium, the first ancestors of bears began to appear 40 million years ago. From the general group of myacids, one small group stood out. These were the first bears that didn't look like bears. And then the second group, which included raccoons and common nooses. And also the third group, which united the entire canine genus. These are wolves, foxes, coyotes, and dogs. All three distinct groups, bears, raccoons, and canines, have higher intelligence than other mammals. This may be due to the fact that primitive sacrifices were easily accessible. Initially, the group of the first bears separated from the group of wolves. Therefore, the ancestors of the clubfoot bear looked like wolves. It was Perictus. The skulls of these small animals were no more than three inches long. Perictus ate like modern badgers. The genus of bears originated in North America. And the first bears lived only there for many millions of years. In Europe, the first bear-like animals appeared 20 million years ago. Calpanomos. This animal was also the ancestor of the first bears, but it did not take place as a transitional link in evolution. Pinnipeds began to develop from Calpanomos. Calpanomos knew how to eat shellfish. Parallel evolution made this animal similar to both bears and modern sea otters. But in fact, this is not the ancestor of bears, but a lateral relative who occupied a unique food niche. And it arose as if in a parallel convergent manner. This often happens in nature. And in the USA, there lived a species of cephalohalians. It was cephalophagi and similar animals, still very small, that came to Europe 20 million years ago and are the direct ancestors of bears. Constant natural experiments, as a result of which large and small animals appeared, eventually led to the appearance of the first real bear, Arsavis or the dawn bear. I and over the course of 29 million years in North America, bears have gradually evolved and changed from one species to another. At that time, other bear species were developing on their own in Europe. The most interesting thing begins with the fact that the dawn bears crossed the Bering Strait into Eurasia and began to settle across it. And then, Due to the constant search for food and new territory, some of the descendants of these bears returned to North America. This is to drive early paleontologists crazy and confuse their research, analyzes, and theories. But when DNA and the science of genetics came to the rescue, scientists were able to bring together the spectrum of bears. Our modern bears finally diverged from the dawn bears and other ancestors between 20 and 15 million years ago. The last one who was a passing link between the dawn and modern bears was Elmensis bear. 
still the same omnivorous, relatively small bear and clearly not yet the owner of the forests. After this, paleontologists again began to get confused about which species of primitive bears appeared first and which species arose later. Here's a small example. The well-known panda bear separated from the general genus of bears 19 million years ago. Due to the fact that only bamboo is present in the panda's diet, this species has stopped all its evolutionary processes. Already 5 million years ago, the panda looked exactly the same as modern pandas. And this bear will look the same for millions of years to come. About 13 million years ago, the short-faced bear began to move away from modern bears. American short-faced bears, weighing up to 2,200 pounds, lived just fine for nearly 2 million years. But unfavorable climate and human hunting have greatly reduced the population of this species. The South American short-snout Arctotherium also did not survive climate change in people. This predator lived in South America 1,500,000 years ago and was very large, weighing up to 3,300 pounds. Indian bear. The only surviving member of the short-faced bear subfamily. A true fossil wonder that lives on today. The Andean or spectacled bear lives mainly in the humid high mountain forests of the western slope of the Andes. At altitudes up to 10,000 feet. But this animal often appears on open meadow slopes and even in low lying savannas and bushes. Let's go back to the original branch of bear evolution. The modern genus Ursus, which lived in Asia 3 million years ago, ended up in North America as a result of immigration. The first representatives of Ursus were small, the size of a modern Malayan bear. But giant bears also appeared in the Pleistocene era. The Ursus group of brown bears is very heterogeneous. In North America alone, this group was divided into approximately 80 standing species. American brown bears, once common from Alaska to Texas and northern Mexico, are now found only in Alaska, western Canada, Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. The California grizzly bear, featured on the California flag, became extinct around 1925. The polar bear, Ursus maritimus, is sometimes classified as a separate genus, Philarctos. This species lives exclusively in the Arctic, although the polar bear stays mainly on the coast and floating ice flows. In winter, a polar bear can lie in a den on the mainland, sometimes 30 miles from the sea. In summer, animals also wander quite far from the coast in search of berries, bird eggs and other food. Polar bears come in very large sizes. The smallest animals are found on Spitsbergen. And as they move west through Greenland and North America to the Bering Sea, the size of the bears increases. Males can reach lengths of up to two and a half meters or up to eight feet. Adult males weigh up to 1,800 pounds. But we will have to return again to the prehistoric past. It is worth remembering that modern bears evolved from a small animal called Protursus, which evolved into the genus Ursus 3 million years ago. Protursus's ancestors went along three lines. Along the European line, the representative of which became the predecessor of the extinct cave bear, U. Spilos, and two Asian ones, from which the current brown and black bears originated. A cave bear that lived in Florida migrated to the Tennessee area. The short-faced bear has spread from Alaska to Mexico and as far east as Virginia. This predator was the largest bear of the Ice Age. Above five feet at shoulder level, when walking normally, without rising on his hind legs. It turns out that this bear was 15% taller than the largest modern grizzly bear that lives today on the Alaskan coast. 
the short-faced bear could easily defeat the largest prehistoric mammal. Scientists believe that the very first brown bears appeared in China. The first ancestors of bears spread to Asia, Europe, and then during the Ice Age they came to North America through the Bering Strait. The youngest living species is the polar, or white, bear, which evolved from the coastal Siberian brown bear 100,000 years ago. These animals became the most carnivorous of all bears. In many areas of the Arctic, the polar bear feeds only on seals. It's worth telling a little about the cave bear. The cave bear is larger than the largest predator on Earth, the polar bear. Weight 2,200 pounds, length 13 feet. The cave bear lived in the north of the planet for 100,000 years. Cave and brown bears had the same father. It was an Etruscan bear that inhabited Eurasia for 5 million years before the Ice Age. The archaic ancestor of bears was met by the first waves of Homo erectus that moved north before the ice invasion. The Etruscan bear did not survive, and the descendants of this predator acquired thick fur. These animals also learned to hide from the cold in caves and forests. Bears' bodies have evolved and were able to increase fat reserves in severe frost. Descendants learned to fall into a long winter hibernation during famine. Some became cave bears in the mountains, others became forest bears in the thickets. This is how cave and brown bears appeared during the Ice Age. The evolution and future of these animals will be different. The brown bear will live next to us, and the cave bear, unfortunately, will become extinct. The life of a cave bear took place in mountain caves. From birth to the end of life, Many people say that cave bears were vegetarians, but now the grizzly bear, like the brown bear, also eats berries and roots. But this does not mean that such bears can be soft and fluffy. These bears ate what they got from hunting. These were berries, mushrooms, and also meat. Cave bears competed for this food with animals that consumed plant foods in incredible quantities with mammoths and rhinoceroses. And later there was competition with people. And for meat, the bears had to solve the problem with more dexterous predators. Tied to one place, dozens of bear families created reserves of subcutaneous fat in the short summer, and in winter they waited on this fat in hibernation. But Ice Age winters were much colder than they are now. The frosts grew stronger, the ice spread further, and the summer became shorter and shorter. There were not enough berries and fruits for all the inhabitants of the north. Herbivores died, and there was less meat. Competition for food became total, and people with weapons completely broke the balance. And each time the bears had to go further and further from their caves to find food. The animals had to go into hibernation half-starved, and the next winter was longer than the previous one. Spring, which was supposed to awaken the bears, did not come. Instead of babbling streams, the darkness and cold of night reigned outside. Archaeologists still find cave bears curled up in a ball and dying in their sleep. The tragedy of extinction lasted for hundreds of years. The latter disappeared from the species during the next cycle of hardening of the Ice Age 24,000 years ago. Neanderthals revered cave bears. Several burials have been found in caves, where bones are collected in pits and covered with stone slabs. Apparently, our special respect for bears has been going on since then when the bears gave up their homes to people and allowed them to survive. Thank you for watching our episode to the end. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already.
and also ring the bell so you don't miss watch new and interesting videos from the Real Unreal channel.